G'day guys, um, today I'm going to roast, or I have already roasted them, I'll roast some sulphides. Um, yeah, I've done it before in previous videos, but I'll give, give it another go. This is some other um, concentrated sulphides that I got off a of mate. So anyway, I've, I've roasted them, oh, they're already done. Um, they've gone from a silver colour to a black, and now they're starting to turn red. Yeah. So, as I said before, the sulphides, once you roast them, they become an oxide. And uh, yeah, they go black when you burn them, and then as, as they're exposed to the air or the oxygen, they turn red. Yeah, so the, the sulphides have been roasted, and the next. Um, the next step is to just grind them up a bit. Grind them up, so I just got them in this uh, mortar and pestle, and uh, just break them up a bit more. And uh, all the fine gold will be released from the sulphides. So because they've been roasted, it softens them up. So. I don't have to pound away on it in the mortar and pestle. Just, just um, yeah, just put like I'm doing now, and that grinds it up into a fine powder. Releases all the gold. Tip it in my pan. I'll just show you the different colours. There it is. There's the sulphide there before I um, put it in the mortar and pestle. And that's how it comes out after I've um, ground it up in the mortar and pestle. See how it goes a red colour? It's turned from a sulphide to an oxide. The next step will be to pan it. I'll get back to you once I've set the pan up. Okay, here we go. This is the stuff. This is the roasted sulphides. And hopefully, uh, will, cont will con contain some gold. You can see it's really red. That's the oxides. Like red and mud. And I've got uh, detergent in this water, so because I know the gold in this um, in these sulfides is going to be super fine. But if there's a lot of it, it should I should end up with a tail uh, in the pan. I can always re-pan all this stuff. Gee, there's a lot of fine specks in the pan already. Try and get all the heavies right down in the, in the corner.
got a sparkly stuff there, but I think that's just the sulfides. And the sulfides themselves are heavy, sitting in the pan. They're all coming up the back here. Typical black sand. When you've got super fine gold and you've got black in the black sand, it's really hard to separate. Well, what I'll do, I'll put some clean water in there and give it a, a pan back and see if I can see anything. Give it a bit of a pan back. See if we can see anything in the pan. should say red sand. I didn't see any gold. Oh yeah, I can see one piece. Oh, what is he? Oh, he's gone down there. Get up the back. Oh, I can see it all now at the back. It's all um, really fine flower gold. Super fine. There'll be more gold in this uh, in this black sand that I'm panning back. Okay, I can show you this. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. Turn it around this way, you might be able to. Oh, that was a good, that was a good move, wasn't it, Kev? Down the bottom here, you'll see a, a thin yellow line in the pan there. That's that's gold. It's a uh, flower gold. And there's more of it. You can see it floating on top of the water now. Some of it. Yeah. So um, I'm going to have my job uh, cut out trying to separate all this stuff super fine anyway that's it for now guys um i might do another video if i if i can i've got more of it of this material so um if i can clean up a lot of it better than better than this i'll uh, i'll do another video i'll put some pictures up anyway at least okay bye for now take care